Hi, hello my dear students. Welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and I am Rajesh MSA Zoology. Today our topic is the mechanism of muscle contraction. It is also known as a sliding filament theory. Okay, so um, just to try a diagram, a rough diagram of uh, a muscle fiber it is. Uh, it is a rough diagram of a muscle fiber within this so many myofibrils are there for our better understanding i remove all the myofibrils except one that luckiest myofibril is this what i draw here this is the only one myofibril which is present within the one muscle fiber for our understanding only it is a hypothetical diagram okay what is happening in this what you understand along with this um, lecture in this um, myofibril what you understand same thing will happen to the all the myofibrils all the myofilaments okay so if all the myofilaments do contract at a time the same thing will be happen to the muscle fiber when muscle fibers all are contract together same thing will happen to the fascicle and all the fascicles when contract together and the muscle will be contract and the movement is possible so uh, try to understand what is happening in one myofibril and we can apply that uh, to the remaining all the myofibrils okay so is this clear first okay i'll uh, let you know what is this uh, diagram actually it is a sarcolemma this is what sarcolemma and what is this then if it is a sarcolemma it is a t-tubule it is a t-tubule this is the t-tubule it is a mammalian muscle fiber skeletal muscle fiber that's why the t-tubule is uh, at the level of uh, where the actin and myosin are attached or come in contact together at that place only there is a t-tubule either side of the t-tubule actually along this uh, t-tubule sorry along the length of the plasma membrane sarcoplasmic reticulum is also present but this is terminal cisterne it is what terminal cisterne where more amount of calcium is there where more amount of calcium this is terminal cisterne okay try to understand this uh, structure all the points all the labeling first then it is very easy to understand the sliding filament theory okay plasma lemma sarcoplasmic reticulum terminal cisterne this is triad system what we already discussed triad system if you uh, not uh, clear about the triad system and the motor unit first to watch that video then only come and watch this because uh, without understanding about a triad system and uh, motor unit it is somewhat difficult to understand okay so this is triad system where there is a triad system there is only a motor end plate it is the motor end plate okay now when a central nervous system want to contract the muscles of my hand this is my hand muscle when i want to write on the board if i want to contract my muscles my central nervous system sends signal through the motor unit and that motor unit impulses reaches the muscle fiber okay now this muscle uh, this nerve fiber releases acetyl choline a it releases what acetyl choline a acetyl choline a is a neurotransmitter which is present in this here this is acetyl choline that is released when acetyl choline is uh, released into the t tubule and that is immediately give uh, information to the sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum gets sensitized and uh, calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm it is a sarcoplasm the entire body is sarcoplasm and into that sarcoplasm calcium ions are released okay i'll give that calcium ions for orange color now calcium ions are released okay this is the first step motor and plate stimulate the muscle fiber for the contraction muscle fiber is stimulated and calcium ions are released okay now this calcium ions are bind with the troponin c troponin c we already discussed what is troponin c means when troponin c is bind with the calcium troponin t troponin i both are bind with the actin as well as the tropomyosin right so this is a subunit three units together it forms a, a troponin when troponin bind with the calcium 
it alters the position of tropomyosin it alters the position of tropomyosin tropomyosin generally covers what myosin binding sites right when it is alter the position myosin binding sites are exposed myosin binding sites are exposed this is the first thing first sarcoplasmic reticulum release the calcium ion calcium ion bind with the troponin troponin twist down tropomyosin so myosin binding sites are exposed for the myosin up to here the myosin is very dull because there is no myosin binding site uh, it want to it always want to bind with its partner that is myosin binding site which is present in the actin but there is no because um, the, as like a, every love story there is a father or a brother who is like a villain here tropomyosin is act like that tropomyosin will not allow the myosin binding site to bind with the myosin but now the calcium ion is binded calcium ion is like a a government job for the is tropomyosin sorry for the myosin so whenever the calcium ion site enter immediately it opens that gates so myosin binding sites are exposed it becomes active because the myosin binding site is exposed it can easily bind with that why it can easily bind because myosin head has two binding sites one is for the myosin another one is for the atp atp binding site you know already it is a muscle fiber and muscle fiber has so many plenty amount of mitochondria which produces atp always so atp is always bind with the myosin only there is no requirement of like you have to get uh, some qualifying marks then only i'll come and uh, attach with you such type of things are not there myosin is always bind with the atp whenever the myosin binding sites are exposed immediately by utilizing this atp energy it forms a cross bridge like this it is the cross bridge it forms what a cross bridge how it forms by using the energy from the atp atp hydrolase we already discussed the myosin head act like a atp hydrolase it only hydrolyzes the atp when it is bind with that it forms a cross bridge so atp is convert into what adp and inorganic phosphate pi adp plus pi by releasing that phosphate ion by releasing the phosphate ion it pulls the actin it pulls the actin towards the m line it pulls the actin towards the m line clear so for example if my body is the myosin uh, sorry m line and my both hands are what myosin so whenever that calcium bind with the troponin troponin twist the tropomyosin myosin binding sites are exposed by using the atp i form the cross bridge and by releasing on an organic phosphate i pull that actin towards the m line m line is stand like this towards the m line i just pulled okay actin you already know that z line is a um, elastic line so it can easily move so along with this actin g line is also try to enter into the towards the uh, myosin okay this is called power stroke what it is called power stroke this power stroke once the power stroke is uh, completed it releases the adp also it releases what adp now it is still bind with that actin in a strong manner power stroke is completed it is still binded like this when it will release uh, if it is releases it has a doubt maybe uh, that myosin binding site will be immediately covered by the uh, tropomyosin so i should not leave this like that it feels so it is it, it don't want to leave that uh, actin when it will be released uh, when another atp molecule is binded you know already by releasing the phosphate ion only it pulls after pulling it releases the adp also now adp by atp binding site is uh, free for the another atp molecule whenever another atp molecule is binded immediately it uh, breaks that cross bridge and by using that another atp molecule second atp molecule it forms another cross bridge so like that from the both sides atp molecule is binded okay step by step i'll uh, give that information uh, to you just to recall what i am very dull like this my myosin binding sites heads are very dull like this and central nervous system send a signal 
to contract the muscle and that is carried by the motor neuron motor unit motor unit transmit the impulses to the motor end plate motor end plate releases acetylcholine a by receiving that sarcoplasmic reticulum releases calcium ions calcium ions are bind with the actin not with the myosin calcium ions are bind with the actin troponin troponin twist the uh, tropomyosin so myosin binding sites are exposed immediately i already have the actin immediately myosin uh, observe that myosin binding site it get activated towards the actin filaments and downwards and upwards also activated like this and it forms a cross bridge by using that atp energy it hydrolyzes the atp and release the one inorganic phosphate it pulls both from both the sides actin is moved towards the m line from both the sides from all the directions you know all the directions means what one myosin it is myosin for example one myosin is covered by okay myosin we give the red one myosin is covered by how many actins you know six actins one myosin is covered by six actins okay and each actin is covered by three myosins so this is myosin triangle and this is actin hexagonal so white are actins this is myosin red are myosins so from all the directions the myosin heads pull the actin towards the m line okay in this uh, phenomenon in this process what happened actin slide over the myosin actin slide over the myosin that's why it is called sliding filament theory once upon a time mobile phones sliding mobiles are there before the touch pads are came uh, sliding mobiles is a once upon a time modern fashion it is how that mobile is slide on that keypad like that only these are move these are slide over the myosin that's why it is called what sliding filament theory this sliding filament theory is given by the jean hansen and hugh huxley hugh huxley and jean hansen they proposed this theory it is not at over uh, i'll uh, give you some more information about this regarding to the neat examination which type of questions they will ask first of all you have to know that i band i band means isotropic band which allow the light okay this i band is gradually decreases and disappear why for example this is the portion i band portion when it is enter into this g line is also now my body is g line these two are the actins and this is the i band so when i enter into this uh, m band when i enter into this a band automatically this uh, portion what it is called isotropic zone is a decreases and gradually disappears isotropic zone is decreases that is first bit very important bit i band will decrease disappear not actin filament not thin filament not thick filament don't use that word filament decreases filament uh, uh, shortens shortens of filaments are not happen muscle is not shorten filaments are not shorten but band the the zone will be shortened so i band is shortened that is first important question important need question second this is the overlapping zone overlapping zone is this much only while it is moving inside like that overlapping zone increases because it is enter like this right actually actin is uh, remain constant we will discuss that so when it is moving like that overlapping zone is increases that is the second bit during muscle contraction overlapping zone is increases next third important thing non overlapping zone is called h zone what it is called h zone thin portion of thick band is known as h zone during the muscle contraction h zone gradually decreases and finally disappears so h zone decreases i zone decreases i band decreases h zone decreases but overlapping zone is increases overlapping zone is increases three bits cover 
and a band a band is remain constant a band is remain constant because actin filament slide over the myosin myosin is not enter into the actin like this only actin enter into the myosin okay so this is remain constant a is remain constant myosin filament myosin band or a band is remain constant okay that is another one bit and uh, this is also important one myosin is covered by how many actins one myosin is covered by six actins okay actin hexagonal and one actin is covered by three myosins myosin triangle okay this is also very important and um, another important thing is calcium ions play very important role once that cal up to when this muscle contraction is going on the sliding filament theory this is continuously happening one okay cross bridge is formed and it is pulled released again cross bridge is formed pulled released again cross bridge pulled released like that entire uh, g lines are come close to the myosin heads uh, it will pull that and later it relaxes and it pulls this is uh, pulling is uh, result in the shortening of the muscle fiber actually muscle fiber is not shortened really because of this uh, elastic nature of g lines it look like a shortened but it is not really shortened this uh, actin filaments slide pass on the myosin that is happen up to when up to the uh, this uh, nerve impulses are stopped if the nerve impulses are stopped okay what you written up to know that is enough full marks will be allotted you can stop the examination like that if the central nervous system say to you you are not going to write right at that time stl colon is not released stl colon is going to back into this or stl colon is digested here okay stl colon is not religious if stl colon is not there in the t tubule the cisterna is not releasing that calcium and that calcium ions which are already present in the sarcoplasm that is going back into the cisterna the calcium ions are going back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum very very important calcium ions are not utilized like completely they are not eliminated once it lies okay it is not uh, used and throw calcium ion is reusable which is released and binded that is uh, going back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum by the calcium atpa just like uh, calcium pumps or uh, reuptake of calcium is an active process reuptake of calcium is a active process that calcium go back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum if calcium ion is not there that means there is no government job that brother or father is not allowed to meet with the myosin immediately they also closes that uh, myosin binding site tropomyosin covers the myosin binding site and again the myosin go back to its uh, original uh, place with a dull manner okay now very important question previous last question so many times students confusing here it is atp molecule how many atp molecules are hydrolyzed only one atp molecule while the atp molecule is myosin binding site is exposed it is utilized that and it pulls that at that time one atp molecule is utilized hydrolyzed for breaking of the bridge what another one atp molecule is binded attached atp molecule is attached but it is not hydrolyzed okay and when the another atp molecule is attached it releases the bridge is broken when another atp molecule is binded to the myosin head this is important okay so actin filament slide over the myosin that's why it is called sliding filament theory in this process i band decreases a band remain constant h zone decreases and disappears and overlapping zone increases okay and this process will continue up to the calcium ions are go back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum once that the signals are stopped from the motor neuron calcium ions are reuptaked by the sarcoplasmic reticulum and myosin heads are masked by the tropomyosin and myosins come back to their normal position this is a uh, uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum and um, this is the sarcomere and the muscle contraction okay clear same thing will happen to the all the myofibrils within the muscle fiber 
okay so this uh, is about uh, sliding filament theory or muscle contraction if there is any doubts you can mention in the comment box or you can uh, send your uh, mcqs what you can't solve if you send that mcq to the rajesh biology app then we can uh, discuss about that i'll uh, give you the response within 24 hours i'll try to give the response and um, try to join in our whatsapp group we we, we create a whatsapp channel also in that i'm going to regularly upload some interesting facts about the biology as well as uh, related to neat examination some updates m set updates if there are any biology related updates are there that is also i'll try to mention in that but every day one post is going to post it in the whatsapp uh, channel so try to support in the whatsapp also as well as okay so this is about today's class thank you so much have a nice day